Welcome to Holmes Fix It 101. Today we're going to be talking about this. This here is, well, it's my rig setup that I use for doing videos that you see on YouTube. Now, I'm not going to talk about so much as about the rig setup that I've got, but the actual tripod or stand that I actually use within my workshop surrounding here. Now, here working in the workshop, in the right workshop environment, things obviously get a bit dusty, so that's one of the reasons why I don't keep my cameras set up all the time in here. But the only thing that I found that working in the workshop is having a stand that one can stay in the workshop, but two doesn't get in my way. Now, with that, I built this. This is my camera stand and it's all made of, of, of wood and it all expands out like that as well. A little bit creaky, but it also allows me to expand where I want to go and I can turn the camera down on the front here as well. And I also can bring the camera to wherever I'm working. But the biggest criteria for me was that it was getting around the actual stand as well. If I had a tr normal tripod around here, I'd never be able to work or walk around as close as I am to the camera. I would have to be stepping over the legs or anything like that that comes out on a normal tripod. So I'll put you on the gimbal and uh, I'll give you a walk around of what I've got here. Right, here we are. Now, here we are. We're focusing on, on mostly on the, my camera at the moment. This is a Canon M50 mirrorless camera. And uh, it's got, as you can see, it's got a cage around it and all the wires coming out of it. But it's also on a ball head, so I can swivel the ball head down so it's over the top of whatever I'm using. Now, if I go round the side here, you can see there's the power bank that I use for power in the M50 because the M50 is, is, don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant, brilliant camera, but it absolutely eats batteries. And if I was to do, say, like a, a 20 minute video like I'm doing now in 4K, then, it, it, you know, I wouldn't be able to do another one on behind that because it, it, it just eat the batteries. But so there's, there's the power bank that I actually use. Now, if we follow on up the top here, you can see that there's the uh, there's a 1920 by 1200 screen that I actually use. I, I assume that that's a 16 by 10. Um, this is a, a, the screen that I can add. It's a bit dirty on the front. I didn't see that, but uh, it's um it, that's the one I see myself in the video and everything else to make sure that the camera is actually taking the shots that I actually need. Uh, you, there's a shotgun microphone. I always make sure I've got a shotgun microphone connected to my cameras, um, even when I'm uh, using an audio recorder, just to make sure that when I when I'm in post, that I be able to um, sync up all the videos and everything else by using the audio sync. But let's follow on down. As you can see, that that goes into this mechanism down here that I built. And then it comes back up here into the head, the back head, what I call the back head um, of the machine. But you can also see that I have all these little tiny things here that have these like cold shoe mounts. So I better put things in there for cold shoes like like the um, um, microphone. I can connect it to actually into here as well. But this here, if I zoom back a little bit, it will come out like that. So if I want to get a shot anywhere that it, where I want to get a shot, then I can pull that out and it actually stays in the position. It's a little bit creaky, but it does work. Now, if I follow on this down, down here, 
if you look down the bottom there, this is all on wheels down here. There was a, his casters on all four corners, but there's a great big concrete um, piece inside that inside that block that actually stops this from actually tipping over. And then this comes back up here as we come back up here like this. Um, you come back up here and you'll see this this uh, knob on the back of here now this knob on the back of here if you undo this this allows this whole mechanism here if I zoom back a little bit this whole mechanism here to go up up and down so up, up and down that pole so I can actually get it right down on the floor or I can get it right up in the air so I'm doing an overhead shot now that's been good so because it all goes clamps on through this here that that actually compresses there and goes through into this mechanism here and that allows that to all go out and expand and that is how I get my shots in my workshop now you can see by the bottom here that if I get close there with my foot you can see that I can actually walk quite close all the way around here with my with my feet now that's the good thing about this and I can get quite close to the camera of where I want to be so there we are so there we are there's what I use in the workshop to make it easier for me for recording videos and stuff like that when I'm working in the workshop so uh, anyway I will see you on another on another one but before you go don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, leave comments in the uh, comments box down below and uh, contact me on the old uh, social media as they're going across here I don't know where they are they're up there somewhere so uh, I will see you again in another one bye bye